Well, today we're going to do a Mercedes W202 windshield wiper transmission. Uh, how to remove it, get it out of the uh, get out of the car, and uh, easiest way to pull everything off. We'll start. Put your hood in the furthest upmost position, upright position. By you know, if you got the car, you probably know you pull the little lock pin out and put the the hood vertical. Turn your windshield wiper on, turn the key on, turn the key off when the windshield wiper is straight up and down. That'll give you access to all the screws and everything in here. I've taken a few of them out already, uh, just so it would be a little quicker and easier. Now, first thing you've got is the, the two leaf covers, the two uh, outer covers on the... Uh, on, there's one on each side of the wiper. The other one, the other side's off. All these do is, there's little tabs here. Push them in, it pulls straight up toward the windshield, this direction. Pull it out. There'll be a bunch of Phillips screws. There's two in the center. One, two, three, four, five. Plus, there's a 10 millimeter plastic nut on the end of here. It's a 10 millimeter head. So you take those five out, out on each side and the 10 millimeter uh, plastic headed nut on each side. Um, and I will be right back to show you the rest. Okay, once you have all the uh, Phillips screws and the uh, the, the 10 millimeter nuts off the end. Once you have those all off, there's a bunch of clips on the bottom. Inside here you can see them. Now they're a bit of a pain in the ass. There's a couple in here that are really hard to get to. Now I found the easiest way to get these clips off is to, you can't, reaching underneath and pulling up on them is kind of a pain, but if you take an awl or a sharp screwdriver, stick it straight in in the middle and pull up. And they will pull out. So let's pop this side off. This one's still locked. Now, if you can see down in here, these two are a real bugger to get to. You can't really jam the all down into there. There we go. That's half. We gotta get to the other half is essentially the same. One, two, three. Hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Very hard to do with one hand. Four, and then the last pain in the ass one in here. Oh man, this one's a bugger. There's two in here that are a bit of a bitch. That one, and the furthest one closest to the center of the wiper. Come on, you. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of them is back on. Of course it has. Of course, two of them pop back on. Okay, so once you get this cover all loosened and ready to come off, you're going to have to turn the windshield wiper on again and lower it, have it go back down to the park position in order to get it out. And I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, now the wiper's down in the, almost in the park position. I stopped it almost there, but not all the way. You can lift. Sucker. Oh. 
out. Now what's left is this plastic piece here. Kind of slides down and turns up and out. Now you can see your wiper mechanism. First thing you want to do is put it in the park position. Make sure it's all the way down in the park. Okay. Now it's in the park position and you can take out the four bolt. These are 10 millimeter. There's one, two, three bolts. Third one's back there. Take those three out. And this little plastic clip here that's just, it's like a, a retainer for this rubber bushing down here. Every time I've worked on one of these, this plastic clip has broken either going on or going off. Just put a band clamp around it and, uh, and tighten it down. Seems to, to me anyway, it seems to break every single time I've worked on one of these things. So uh, once we get the wiper motor out, we'll look at that. And the electrical connection is simply... That's it, wipers unhooked. So we'll pull it out and take a look at it in a second. Okay, I've taken all the bolts, the one bolt here, and then there's two nuts. One, two, those are off, and the center clamp, which this is supposed to lock, just snap over top of here from the factory. Like I said, the end will more than likely slap off on you. They always have on me. So then you just use a band clamp to hold it on. That's off, and now the entire assembly just lifts right out. And it's fairly heavy, so be careful with the thing. Don't drop it. Now, if you're only going to grease or... Uh, Grease up the mechanism inside. You don't have to remove any of this. You don't have to re remove anything I've shown you before. You merely have to take the center cover piece. It pops up from the back and then slides backwards. That's it, out. Now the turtle cover, as many people call them, or the back cover, pops up from both sides of the back and it's easier if this arm is extended all the way out. If it's extended you can move this forward because there's a round ring you can see underneath underneath here there's a round ring that goes all the way around the shaft and you don't want to break that because you can't buy these covers separately and then you go inside and you just you can just lube and grease up the whole mechanism it's easy just grease it all up cover everything you want in lube and you don't have to remove it from the car in order to do this. This is, uh, I'm showing how to take off the entire transmission. If you have to take the whole wiper assembly out, this is how to do it. But you just need to grease it. That's all you need to do. Okay, now here's the back of the wiper transmission assembly. I had to take this whole thing apart because when I put a new, um, my mounting bracket, this aluminum mount, the entire thing, mine had snapped in half. <laughs> There's the other half. It had snapped completely in half, as you can see. So it goes that way. And the wiper was slapping around all over the place, so I had to replace that mount. And uh, I couldn't weld this. I tried to weld it. My, uh, my arc welder just would not weld the aluminum properly, even with aluminum rods. I couldn't get it done, so... I just got another one from the Wreckers. It was $50 for uh, for most of the assembly. So I had to swap my arm and everything on there. I'd put it back on the, the car. And when you put it on in the park position, uh, you have to make note that there is a... There's another geared wheel underneath here that is is geared to another arm that moves the the wiper in and out. And when it's parked, the wiper has to be all the way in. So when you set it first at the park position that you want it at, when you put it on the windshield, you have to make sure, if, you just, if you're just replacing this outer arm, 
you have to make sure that that's all the way in. Mine wasn't all the way in, so it was making funny patterns across the windshield, wasn't covering it properly. Most people probably won't have to worry about that because you probably don't have a broken mount. But if you do, um, swapping everything around is pretty straightforward. You'll take apart the 17 millimeter nut, 13, mil 13 millimeter on the motor, and three tens on the motor to pull them all apart. Uh, tap on it lightly, these will pop out. On the back of this shaft, there's a C clip that holds. Uh, uh, holds the shaft into this uh, uh, into the the bushing arm, uh, the bushing mount, and that's about it. But if you have a slipping wiper or the motor is slipping, um, uh, say when you've got snow or something on the windshield, you can hear the motor still running, but the wiper's not moving. It probably one of these two shafts, either this shaft or this shaft on the motor is slipping. Uh, they're on a uh, a beveled, uh, a beveled shaft, so you just need to tighten, this is a 17, tighten either this or the 13, tighten this, that will probably get you uh, back in, in, uh, uh, back in gear again. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in my car, I've reset everything in, I'm going to shove the sucker back in.